Um, email. Um, it declared um, dead countless times, um, going strong since the 70s, and uh, probably not going away anytime soon. Um, many factors um, contribute to this success story, uh, one of them being federation, um, based on standards, allowing anyone to participate in this system, meaning the weirdo running his post fix behind his ADSL with the dynamic IP up to the um, R&D department, um, having to necessarily run their servers on premise, up to the big players we know these days, basically running all our communication via email. So another factor, in my regard, is the simplicity of the system. Um, over the phone, I can read this email out to somebody and um, they will be able to understand that notation. Um, it might be the reception is somewhere or so. And they also understand concepts of email. So if the office is, um, for instance, down, they will understand, OK, my CRM system won't receive emails anymore. And <coughs> sorry. Um, they also understand concepts that their mobile device will then, for instance, also be able maybe to receive emails still. And from the CRM vendor's perspective, for instance, they will be able to determine, OK, we understand email. It's simple. It's robust. We'll make the decision to make it an integral part of our CRM. So um, what if we could share information in the same way, um, just access through a simple global namespace um, instead of being downloaded from one silo to be uploaded to another silo, we all know this, um, duplicated or synced all over the place from machine to machine to machine. Um, what if files could just be accessed instead of copied all over the place, um, manually, programmatically, uh, through a simple address like this, end-to-end -end encrypted also. We all need security. Uh, enter Upspin. Upspin looks a little bit like a global file system, but its creators define it as a set of interfaces and uh, protocols and components from which um, an information management system can be built. Um, one of them being Rob Pike, I don't know if you know him, um, the, one of the creators of Go, and joining him other prominent uh, figures of the Go community, and um, also explaining why everything is basically nowadays implemented in Go. Um, and yeah, they still encourage people to do their own implementations, but um, yeah, everything is currently implemented in Go. Um, there is a client library, and from the client uh, library there are um, different tools, one of them being um, Upspin command line tool. Here, the Upspin UI, which you operate from the browser. And um, these tools provide you with the necessary um, actions to set up and use and um, yeah, manage Upspin. Um, this tool, for instance, will guide you through the process of creating um, your private key and your public key, um, registering with a public key server, um, and also things like explaining the importance of a seed to recover your key later on if necessary. Optionally, um, it will also um, help you up, set up your own server. Currently, the implementations support Google Cloud Storage as a backend, AWS S3, and also a local disk. You'll most likely implement your own server or install your own server on one of the cloud providers. Um, let us see how one of the user experiences um, can look like. Um, so this is the view from Upspin FS, one of the standard tools as well, which uses Fuse um, to create a mount point. I don't know if you guys know Fuse, but basically what I've done here, I've used Upspin FS to utilize um, Upspin, the Upspin namespace in my operating system. Here my standard um, file manager, any application for that matter, can access files through that address. Um, you can see here my email address. Uh, Subdirectory I've created, um, DevOps days, with, in which I'm hosting a text file and a PDF. So um, what happened here? If I wanted to access a file in the system, for instance, with this address here, I would then ask a key server, okay, 
give me the information for that address. It will answer with the public key of that user and also give me um, here a directory server. In this case, dear.upspin.io. Um, then me as a client or my implementation would then look up the file name at that directory server address and then I would get back storage servers and block references. I would then go to that um, storage server and ask for these block references. And important to note here, the client only then starts decrypting the files on the client side, hence into en encryption um, noted earlier. So um, a little bit about the, the directory server and the storage server. Firstly, the key server, um, is known to all clients. So there has to be some kind of um, combining element um, telling everybody what is what, and that's the key server, and it's currently one address, hosted redundantly. And the directory server and the storage server can be hosted in one, which is the current way to go, but it can be separated as well. So you can separate the directory server and the storage server. Um, you can either use it for yourself or host multiple users on it, or um, maybe um, use it for a singular purpose, like for a camera or something. So the whole system is implemented only with these few methods. That's very interesting from an implementer's perspective. Um, it's very simple and understandable. By default, nothing is shared. Everything is encrypted. So if a user wishes to share something, she would then drop an access file, a clear text file, with this kind of notation here. Um, these notations are supported as well. So here, um, abbreviated with writes instead of read R, for instance, uh, upper, uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter. Um, groups are supported, your family. Um, group files are hosted separately. Um, wildcards are supported. Um, there's a special group called all. And also the lower notation is also valid, um, meaning wildcard, a simple domain. But for this to currently work, you would have to store your files unencrypted, which defeats the purpose. You have to be careful about that. They're thinking of maybe implementing um, support for organizations who want to share um, files over a, an organization, but that is currently not the case. Encrypted. Um, interestingly, the plus notation is allowed. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, with your Gmail account, for instance, you can do this. Um, Andrew Gerrand um, has implemented uh, server client um, actually streaming camera data, for instance, as a proof of concept. Um, I don't think he's currently publicized it. Um, and what I found interesting is that symlinks are supported as well, symbolic links, and not only within your tree, but throughout the whole namespace. So you could um, symbolically link files across the whole global file system. Um, then the question of maturity. So um, on the mailing list, we already received a couple of these mails with um, action required in the subject field. So um, the creators are not tired also to underscore that um, things change and um, with drastic uh, consequences for your data. Um, a couple of times now, yeah, this did happen and will most likely happen again. So why bring this up here? Um, this rather experimental system. We all have information to share. Um, we all are trying to understand underlying principles of systems to then find a programmatic approach to our problems. Um, that's okay, but what I found very interesting in this case here was, okay, we always face this question of, uh, this vague question, is my data secure? Okay, what am I gonna do with that? Um, also, a variant of that, uh, where is my data stored? And I find that um, with the separation of the directory server and the storage server, with the introduction of a global namespace, and um, also with end-to-end -end encryption, we, oh, these creators have found answers to those questions. So um, I think it's worthwhile looking into it, and um, you can, Check out the documentation, which is excellent, on upspin.io. If you live in Twitter, that's the handle. Um, read Rob Pike's manifesto regarding what the initial motivation of the system was. Um, so why I'm also speaking here is 
if you need a sparring partner to test this, write me an email, I'll hook you up. Even if you don't want to set up the server, please just contact me, I'll give you an account. Thank you very much.